What do you do when your partner, your significant other, want to does not to want to talk to you? One of the challenges I see in relationships is that we tend to get a little upset with each other and perhaps shut down. So just like this frozen beaver dam behind me, we create this cover over ourselves. A protective shell per se, because we've been hurt. Perhaps our needs aren't getting met. Perhaps there was a miscommunication. Perhaps we feel like our partner isn't giving us enough time or enough energy or isn't listening to what it is that we truly need. Perhaps we've asked for something that we really want and we're not getting it. Have you ever had a relationship where you just felt yourself shut down and wanting to not communicate because you're hurt or feeling alone and isolated? That's why it's so important to start reaching out to your partner. See, beavers are really great animals because they build these dams that freeze in the winter but they have the holes in the floor. So they go out through the floor into the water, which is not frozen, and all their food is stored underneath to nourish them for the winter. And they go down, they get their food, they bring it back up for themselves and their young, and they're able to sustain for a really long time. So what if, when your partner has that shell around them, and perhaps they're hiding out in their room with their video games and all their chips or whatever it is at the mall shopping at work. What if you were able to understand and really look at what is it that you know that nourishes them? Perhaps you know their love language. Is it time, acts of service, gifts, touch? What is it that they want or need usually? What have they been asking for in maybe subtle ways that you have been unable to hear? And how can you take that, use that as something that you know nourishes them and give that to them? Because have you ever had someone apologize to you or reach out to you and say, hey, I'm feeling a little disconnected. I'm really sorry. How can we fix this? Have you ever had someone repair a relationship with you? That's why it's so important to look at nurturing the relationship if you really care and see how can his or her or their needs be met in a way that's both comfortable for you even if it pushes you outside of your box, but it's not something where you're giving yourself completely up. But maybe you're making some sacrifices. Maybe you're making some intentional small steps towards change that can really show them that it's okay to let go of that ice melt on top. That it's okay to open the waters and come out and connect with you. Because now imagine instead of them being in their shell, hiding, isolating, and now you start isolating or feeling alone and lonely and uncared for and you're hoping that person comes out of their dam or out of their room or out of their shell or back home from work and starts reaching out to you and then you're not getting that because they're hoping for the same thing. Imagine instead of all that pain and all that stress that you take the first step, even if it's hard, even if you're in tons and tons of pain and say, hey, there's a break. I am feeling a break. I am feeling alone. I'm feeling lonely. I'm feeling regretful. I'm feeling whatever it is that you're honestly, truly feeling. And you look them in the eyes because looking someone in the eyes creates connection. It releases oxytocin. It allows for a feeling of vulnerability, which creates trust. So look them in the eyes and really, truly, from all the fear places, but all the places that want love and connection. Speak your truth. I want to be connected again. How can we make that happen? What do I need to do to facilitate that? Because no matter what kind of relationship we're talking about, 
Wouldn't it be great to reconnect with that person, to reconnect with your family member, your friend, your significant other? And even if you don't want to connect permanently, even if you know it's an unhealthy relationship, but you just don't want the anger and fear, wouldn't it at least be great to have some closure before you move away? So there's not an awkward silence and disconnect. So there's no guilt, there's no shame, there's no regret left behind. So what you need to do is look at the other person. What might they be feeling? What might they want? How might you be able to provide that for them in a way that's also strong and comforting for you? Even if it's vulnerable, it can be strong and vulnerable, right? Vulnerability is not weak. Vulnerability is showing like, I care about you and I'm learning to trust you or I want to trust you enough to make this work, to make this connection. Wouldn't it be great? To be reconnected. So now instead of you being hurt and them being hurt, now you can work synergistically. You can create that connection. You can form that bond. Because otherwise, they're going to be in one little beaver dam. You're going to be in your own little beaver dam. You're not going to be sharing anything. And your winter of relationship is going to be cold and challenging and tough if it even makes it at all so i'm empowering you today to make the choice make the choice for your relationship take that step that you need to move forward in whatever way you can honesty integrity vulnerability say what you need say what you want give them what they need because when you get what you need aren't you more likely to give back to somebody if someone's giving to you and giving to you and giving to you and sharing with you and complimenting you and connecting with you all the time don't you want to connect back it's kind of a natural part of nature i mean nature gives to us all the time look at the sun it's always giving it doesn't ask it just gives even when it's covered by the clouds So comment below. I look forward to hearing your stories of where you're struggling and how you've used these tips to connect. Please like and subscribe this channel and look for more videos on the nature of relationships. I'm Dawn Bennett, helping you clear your emotional pain. Namaste and take care.